Well, hello, city setters. <laughs> oh, how you guys doing today? It is Saturday. You know what that means. We are doing Seed Hall Saturday. Not only that, we're doing a short sleeve Seed Hall Saturday. It is jamming in the greenhouse today, guys. We are took, it's 60 degrees, 60 degrees. And it's climbing, it's been getting hotter all day long. I'm beyond pumped that it's so warm in here. It's still getting cold at night, don't get me wrong. But to have 60 degree temperatures during the daytime, I can come out here and bask in the glory that I really wanted this greenhouse for, was just having a little bit of warmth when it was cold outside. A little bit of sunshine, a little bit of green. So I'll be planting some greens, I think, in the next couple of weeks in here to see how they do, if they can hold up to some lower night temperatures. But keep up with these 60 degree days inside the greenhouse. But that's not why we're here. You guys know why we're here. We're here for seeds. Oh, we go through the seed rack. What are we gonna do today? We're gonna talk about Clear Creek seeds. All right, so you guys know how I do these little seed hauls. I'm gonna tell you all the fun stuff I bought. Now, so give you ideas of things you might wanna buy or, you know, Kind of give you your fix if you're already done buying seeds. You can live vicariously through me and what I got here in my little stack, my little seed stashes. And otherwise, it's just for fun. Hopefully, I don't bore you guys and you're very, very entertained. Now, I don't know how many of you remember, but <laughs> uh, when I got these and I did the review, uh, check it out up there, uh, <laughs> the Heirloom Spotlight series. Uh, but the thing that really jumped out at me was the re resealable... Uh, packs that they had and you know I have gotten seeds in these before not like it's not unheard of to get little packs of seeds uh, in a Ziploc type baggie uh, but when I saw these and I saw them with a the little card and everything I was like hey that's a sweet ideal and this is so much better for holding seeds because these are waterproof these little paper pouches that a lot of people make or give out they're not they are not waterproof so uh, I plant all times of the day night you know rain snow sleet hail uh, I whenever I get an opportunity to do it that's when I'm doing it so having something I can pull some seeds out of close back up and not have to worry about running back inside or putting under something uh, it's kind of nice and it seems useful to me at least in my situation many of you probably have lots of time on your hands to garden I don't know how you do it uh, I really don't know how you do it so if if you got any ideas how to do it, tell me. Tell me the ideas. <laughs> oh, all right, off on the tangents. All right, enough of the tangents. Let's go. What do we got here? We're going to talk about some root crops because I picked up a couple things. Kind of normal stuff, but I'm thinking about growing like a fall root crop garden because around Thanksgiving, I love to be pulling up some like parsnips and turnips, uh, some carrots, stuff like that to make for like a Thanksgiving dinner. I think that would be awesome. So I ended up picking up these purple top turnips and I picked up some Harris model parsnips uh, kind of very standard issue but the thing about these is that there's 500 seeds in this little package and there's 250 in this one now that is a ton of seeds for the price that they were offering you can't go wrong the other thing I got a lot of was kale we became big fans of kale and the kids were actually eating it in the kale chip form they really liked it especially when you add a little bit of Parmesan cheese to it which I'm pretty sure Parmesan cheese makes everything taste better but the kids were eating the kale uh, as kale chips so I got 500 kale seeds uh, it's just kind of a normal standard kale. I do have some other fancier kales. Uh, I'm going to kind of try to use this as a border around my garden to feed the darn groundhog before I catch him because I am going to catch him this year. So this is going to be like my fodder for hopefully keeping him on the outsides of the garden. I don't know how it's all going to work yet. It's kind of just an idea I'm kicking around in my head. And you guys all know how those work, right? You just kick them around in there and then you either they come to fruition or they don't. <laughs> like I said, I try to whip through these really quick because you guys, your time is very valuable and I value your time. So I don't want to waste a lot of it. Uh, the thing I bought was these beans. These are dwarf tailor beans. So my, my idea is I'm going to 
do my normal bean teepee that we do. We got the pole beans up the teepee. And I was thinking about putting a row on either side and then putting some bush beans uh, to just increase our bean harvest. We like to eat regular green beans. We like dilly beans, uh, especially when you throw a jalapeno in your dilly beans. Can't go wrong. It's probably the best little snack you can have. So I was thinking about maybe I'll plant some of these dwarf Taylor beans just around the outside edge of my uh, my bean tent just to see how it'll uptick our production of, of green beans. Uh, another thing I got was some Waltham butternut squash. I'm a fan of butternut squash. I like a winter squash. Uh, I've never really grown too much butternut squash. You know, we buy them occasionally, real occasional. Um, it's one of those things that's not really on shelves or anything, so it's hard to buy it if it's not there. Uh, but we have had it before, and it's pretty good, so I want to try to grow some of those. I want to try to do some overwintering of squash, uh, having it longer into storage and all that. So definitely interested in trying to learn about more about that. Got to grow it to learn it, right? So that's why I got them. So I mentioned this one's gonna go pretty quick because I didn't get a ton of stuff from uh, these guys They had a lot of stuff that I already kind of had in my uh, my stocks. There wasn't too many uh, things I hadn't tried before so uh, A great company as far as packing seeds into a package because they definitely Definitely give you a ton of seed for your your price that you're spending for one of these packs uh, I mean I got like a hundred tomato seeds in this thing and it was three bucks so you can't really go wrong with that uh, but the varieties they were a little bit limited but what can you do you can buy quarter it's sort of like buying in bulk a little bit because you're getting a ton of different seeds uh, but you're just not getting a humongous range of variety <sighs> what else did I get? I got this white wonder cucumber. So I've been trying to grow lemon cucumbers for a couple of years now and they haven't gone well. They don't produce very well. Uh, I didn't find them at all very flavorful. Uh, my brother ended up growing white cucumbers last year and he told me they were really good and very prolific. So I got white cucumbers. We're going to give it a try. This is probably the one unique thing that they had that I hadn't had in my collection or seen everywhere else. Everybody's kind of got cucumber varieties and all that. I saw these though and I didn't have any so I bought a whole mess of them in this little bag. 70 plus seeds and when I counted it there was like 82. So like I said seed per pack per price. You really can't beat it. It's probably one of the better ones out there. The last thing I got, and I always save them for last because everybody, almost everyone, there's probably a few of you weirdos out there that don't like tomatoes, which I'm sorry for you that you don't like tomatoes. I don't know what's wrong with you, but <laughs> I got this white cherry tomato. Uh, I like cherry tomatoes. That's my, my biggest garden snack. I come out here, I, I pick all the cherry tomatoes and eat them while I work and do other various tasks outside. And the kids love coming out here and picking them. In fact, uh, little Oz learned how to pick cherry tomatoes for the first time last year. So I'm pretty sure this year there's not going to be very many cherry tomatoes to go around. But I am a pretty big fan of like a white, yellowish type tomato. I don't know what draws me to that, uh, but those are kind of my favorite. Like I've said, I've loved, I love the pineapple tomato. Uh, I just Everything about that tomato to me is like perfect when it comes to tomato flavor. Uh, so I really love that one. I'm thinking these, you know, they say they're white, but they're kind of like a yellowish in the picture and everything I saw. So I'm thinking they're more like a cherry yellowish type tomato. So I'm really interested in trying them and hoping that they have that same kind of like almost slightly citrusy uh, flavor that the pineapple tomato has. Woo! All right, guys. We did really good there. We tore through that really quick. Like I said, I didn't get a ton of different things, but I got enough to get me going in a few different things. I really wasn't too uh, ready to go in. So I'm uh, still happy with my purchase. Very happy with the, uh, the quantities that I got for the price I spent. So a lot of people like this picture on here and I got some comments that somebody was like, oh, I kind of like having a picture because when I look at it, I know exactly what it is. Uh, to me, it didn't really matter. I think of it like in my, my head, you know, what it is. Uh, but somebody said that they like pictures on them. So I thought that was cool too, that they had these little boards and they're these 
wonderful, wonderful resealable bags that I absolutely fell in love with. In fact, I might actually be moving to these, to all the seeds that I do in my seed swaps, and then I might figure out how to print out some little boards like this with pictures to put in there too, because I think that's actually a pretty neat idea. Uh, give you an idea of what it looks like that you're planting, so you know what you're gonna be looking for when it comes time to harvest. Oh, that was it, guys. That was the seed haul from Clear Creek Seeds, guys. If you haven't checked them out, give them a look. Link up there again. Actually, it'll just be a card at the end of the video, one of these. And that's it. Remember, be bold, grow bold. And we'll see you guys in the very next video.